In this lesson, we're going to learn about another selector type, something called the ID selector. Before we get into that, let's just review what a selector is. A selector is, uh, well, let's give you a couple examples. This is a tag selector. This whole thing is called a declaration block. You know, this is the beginning of the block. This is the end of the block. And all this CSS in here gets applied to the H1s. All this CSS in here gets applied to the H2s, etc. These are tag selectors. This is a class selector. We know it's a class selector because it's got a period here. And we apply class selectors by going to whatever tag we want to apply it to. So for instance, we want to apply the super H1 class to this H1 tag here. We have to use the tag attribute class and uh, yeah, we, you know, we just write it out like this. Just to recap, this whole thing is called a declaration block and each of these are called declarations. So we're declaring that the inside of our P tags, the text color is gray. And so this is a declaration. This is the property and this is the value. This is another property. This is the value in between the property and the value, you have a colon. And in between each declaration, you have a semicolon. So this is basically, I give you a bunch of nerd talk. What it comes down to is this, you want to say, I want to change the color to gray. And then you got to put this semicolon here to sort of, to end it. And then you say, I want to set the font to, uh, to the font weight, excuse me, to 200. Or up here, you want to set the text alignment to left. Anyway. That reviews that. So let's create an ID. Top, not div, top age. So to create an ID, you have to start with this number symbol, or uh, some people might call it the hash. This is on top of the three. It's on the same key on your keyboard as the three, as the number three. And uh, this tells CSS that this is an ID selector. So just like the class, you, instead of writing class, you just put ID. And in this case, it would be top H, top H. Now, you notice with the class and with the ID selectors, you notice I didn't include, in the case of the ID, I did not include the number symbol. I just put the name of the ID. And in the case of the class, I did not include the period. I just put the name of the class right? This symbol here and this symbol here, well, the period and the number symbol are used by CSS to identify that this is a ID. And in this case, this is a class. But in our HTML here, we tell the web browser that we're selecting the ID by using this tag attribute here, the ID attribute. And in the case of a class, of course, we're using the class attribute. And that's, uh, I hope that makes sense. So anyway, let's back it up to create an ID in your page. In the CSS, use the number sign and use the name of the ID that you want to use. And then what you got to do is you got to tag your particular tag with the ID attribute, as I did here, so that the browser knows which tag in your page has the ID of top H in this situation. Just like we added the class attribute, as in this example on the paragraph tag, to tell the web browser which tags had the super H1 class. So what's the difference between an ID versus a class? Well, a class can be applied to many different tags on the same page. So you could have many tags that has a class of super H1. I can add it here. I can add it here. I could even add it here if I wanted to. Classes can be added to the page multiple times, whereas IDs are meant to be added to the page once. So for instance, I have the ID of top H. This should only be added to the page once. In other words, there should be only one tag in the entire page that has an ID of top H. That's the rule. Now, the web browser, if you did this, if you just said, this is also top page, this will work. 
you know, in fact, the CSS rules that you've created here in this declaration block would apply to both this H1 with the ID of top page and this paragraph with the ID of top page. But that's frowned upon. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to only use an ID once in a page. And the reason why is because when you are writing your code, you want it to be able to identify sometimes certain tags in your page. You want to make your certain, certain tags in your page special, unique to the page. And you do that by giving these tags an ID. That's all it is. So this comes into play, especially when you get into uh, JavaScript programming as well as CSS. 